Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm going to do another collective read for today here. This is the second I've done. The first one, well, it was kind of scattered. Um, maybe it's the the retrograde that we're in. Uh, for some reason, I've been saying it's starting on the 20th. It started uh, yesterday, uh, the Mercury retrograde. And we're still in Pluto, I think, retrograde as well. So forgive me for the misinformation. I'm very, very sorry. But yeah, the last read just... It was all over the place, so I'm going to try it again. Um, it's timeless, though, because we are Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. But it's timeless. Uh, just go through the spiel again. I don't use gender, and I don't use uh, the signs, because we all embody those energies throughout our life, whether the signs are in their chart or not. So uh, I don't want you to be misinformed or confused. Uh, case in point, if you're an earth sign, you want to speak your truth and set boundaries with people. The card that's going to represent you will be the queen of swords in the upright, whether you're male or female. It doesn't matter, okay? It's just energy. Uh, so if this is your read, you'll be able to recognize who's whom, okay, right away, instantly. It's no problem. I'm just trying to streamline it as best as I can to make it easier. Uh, so take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't, please use your higher wisdom, use your discernment, okay? Not every read's gonna be for you. So please, we're as a tarot reader, we're only here to help guide, shed some light maybe, you know what I mean? Uh, help you make your decisions if need be, but please don't rely on tarot reads 100%, okay? Unless it's a personal read, then, you know, you, it's more geared for you. But this is like a collective, okay? It's just here to help guide. Uh, so, yeah, we're ready to go. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And my, to my new subscribers, welcome. I, I, I'm so very grateful you're here with me on this journey. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light, what are your messages for the collective for today? We are Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. What would you like the collective to know, please? Come on. What would you like the collective to know, please? Here it goes. Guardian angels, ancestors, the light light. Okay, here we go. Sisters of the seasons, cycles of growth, natural law, and divine order. Card number 17, which in tarot is the star in the upright. So it's a wish fulfillment. It's divinely guided and protected. Um... Your star. <laughs> it's good health. It's it's you know, it's good news. Let's put it that way. Let's add some clarity to this. Sisters of the season, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Add some more clarity to the sisters of the seasons, will you please? For the collective. Sisters of the seasons. Why is this here? Thank you. Well, two came out. We have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. That's always a nice card. And date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. So there's two things here. So maybe something's coming to an end in your life. A wish fulfillment, you know what I mean? Um, you're being guided uh, and inspired possibly because that's the star card as well, right? Um, cycles of growth, natural law, and divine order. So something's coming to an end maybe that's going to allow you to start dating again. We'll see where it goes. Uh, it doesn't have to be all those things. It could be just some, right? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. What are your messages for the collective for Wednesday, May 11th, 2022? What would you like them to know, please? Okay, somebody's held back by fear, maybe. Maybe somebody's angry. Knight of Swords reverse. Reckless. There's been some recklessness, maybe. Doesn't have to be. Just it's a card that popped out. Ready to go. First card. Oh, setting down some burdens here. Ten of Wands in the upright. Tens mean that a cycle is ending. Okay, so there's been some burden, some stress. Uh, somebody's been struggling with this, right? 
somebody had a point to prove and it's just added burdens upon their back instead of, you know how some people, well, I'll show them and, you know, had it out for somebody else. I'm just, I'm not, it doesn't have to be, I'm just saying as an example. And instead of showing, <laughs> they added more stress onto their system or, uh, you know, into their life. Two of Pentacles in reverse. So there, something was out of align, alignment here. Somebody's hurting financial, maybe. They have to borrow from Peter to pay Paul. Um, receiving some much needed clarity. That could be it too, right? Out of alignment. But the universe is coming in to put this back into alignment. Something's out of balance. It wasn't balanced out. Maybe it could be your your finances just not balancing out. Ten of Wands in the upright. Why is this here for the collective? Thank you. Okay, so somebody's worried. Nine of Swords in the upright. They're not sleeping. They're not eating. They're overthinking a situation. It could be grief and regret as well. You know? Like, why did I do this? Why? Oh, you know? And, and the way I look at it is whatever. And the Nine of Swords in the upright... It hasn't happened yet, so you're you're fearing fear, you know? In the reverse, yeah, it's happened. The worst has happened, right? So whatever this is, there's a, a lot of stress on somebody's back here, whether it's you or somebody you're dealing with, okay? They're, they're not sleeping, okay? It could be a loss of income, loss of stability, security, or family. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in the reverse here. Yeah, it could be stolen funds. I don't know. We'll see where this goes. But something's happened where... Yeah, financially or with a family, something's happened here. Nine of Swords in the upright for the collective wisest here, please, Spirit. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Ten of Wands in the upright, Nine of Swords in the upright. Why is all this stress going on here? Like, I'm feeling it. My shoulders have just popped up near my ears now. Yeah, somebody wanted a life of luxury. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Nine, nine, if this resonates with you. This uh, could have something to do with you. Uh, this is somebody that's single, independent, abundant, stable, and secure. Doesn't have to be. It could be just somebody <laughs> crying over their life of luxury. Maybe it's coming to an end. I don't know. Freedom. It's also a card of freedom. Right? Um, hmm. Let's see where this goes. This is stable and secure. They're crying over their stability, losing their stability. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords in the upright. This is a, an energy, male or female, that's very discerning, very in, uh, intelligent, intuitive, and wise. There's no clouded thinking here. There's no clouds around this energy's head. They have the sword of truth. They, there's a bird above the head here, which indicates that it's, this person has a higher perspective. Um, they speak the truth. They deal only with the facts and the truth here. They'll... That, this energy is calling in whomever they're dealing with. Come on, tell me your truth. But the minute you lie, this person's going to take the sword and cut you right out. They have no qualms of cutting you out of their lives. Okay, so don't lie. If this is you, don't lie. Stick to the facts. Tell the truth. You, you'll fare better with this energy, okay? This is a fair energy. They understand. They've been around, right? The Queen of Swords. They might be cold on the outside, but they're not. They're not a cold person. It's just they're careful. Okay, they're, they're leery. They've been, you know, yeah. Somebody's holding back. They were holding back. Four pentacles in reverse. Uh, they could have been greedy, selfish, uh, possessive, clingy, codependent. Um, not opening up their heart chakra, right? Um, trying to hold on to what they what they're, what they have left. Four pentacles, possibly. It doesn't have to be all those things. It could be one. It could be a couple. We'll, we'll bring it together, okay? Or it could be somebody's just trying to protect themselves, right? Queen of Swords in the upright. Who knows? Maybe you're dealing with taxation. And you gotta go deal with a professional, a lawyer. I don't know. Queen of Swords can be a, a lawyer, police officer, investigator, a judge. You know, somebody in that profession. It doesn't have to be, though. Queen of Swords in the upright. Why is she here, please? With a Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Queen of Swords in the upright. Why is this here, please? Thank you. Uh, no, I'm gonna put that back in because it flipped a few times. It's an important card, too. I won't tell you what it is, but it, it, it means two totally different things. Upright, yeah. Five of Swords in reverse. So this could be embarrassing, disgraceful to somebody having to tell the truth. Uh, there could have been um, a grudge here. Somebody went all extra because they had, they, they had some hate for you. They were gunning for you. All that war in their head. Maybe you didn't even know what was going on. But in the end, this is disgrace. Um, wanting to put this 
behind either you want to put it behind you or they want to put it behind them take it as it applies just don't try to make it fit okay if it doesn't so this is disgrace emperor in reverse somebody was out of control uh, it was ego it was pride you know they bent to public pressure um the emperor in reverse what it's a people pleaser card um they bend public pressure they don't really want to go ahead along with what other people want to go along with but they go along with it because they want to fit in they think they're powerful they think they have power but they don't you know they they sell themselves out right or they sell other people out this could be corruption uh, it could be infidelity it doesn't have to be but this is out of control it was all about control and power too to have power over another controlling interest i don't know if it's business we'll see where this goes yeah not a nice energy here this could be a tyrant as well right me 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 yeah the decision that needs to be made could be a choice of two people doesn't have to be could be infidelity doesn't have to be but we'll bring it together don't worry but this is a choice a, a decision is being made here or has to be made um this is also a card of consequences no matter what decision is being made someone's going to get hurt whether it's in the upright or in the reverse okay there's been some clouded thinking here possibly in between if it's people and or a situation there's been struggles in between there's been a snake in the picture here so somebody was slithering around causing shit okay there was fruitfulness here you see the fruit of the tree but here it's all coming down it's all getting burnt someone's getting burnt this person's ass is about to get burnt <laughs> but the angels are, are, are over what they're overlooking this here okay so a decision needs to be made somebody made a decision to block something six of swords in reverse stop something block something yeah um they're in hot water right now okay because this is also a card of the trouble looming this is trouble looming somebody was greedy and selfish they were holding on to something possibly that wasn't theirs right they don't want to let go so maybe that's the trouble somebody does not want to let go and firm reverse lovers in the upright why is this here please maybe they were unfaithful and somebody doesn't want to let go that they were playing with right somebody's very depressed here five of cups in reverse very sad yeah oh yeah in a dark place emotionally it doesn't have to be infidelity though good oh they're losing hope star in reverse it could be ill okay star in reverse losing hope this is not what they wanted they maybe if it is infidelity they thought they'd get away with it once or twice but the person they wound up with was maybe very possessive i don't know take it as it applies right now they're losing hope that they can get out of this in one piece uh, if it's business, well, they did something that they thought they can get away with and nobody would notice, but that's not so. Same with family, friends. Somebody's losing faith. Maybe, just maybe, they're, they're feeling unprotected here. We could be getting ill over this, right? Emotionally ill. This is emotions, right? They need healing here. Wow. This is the chariot at the bottom of the deck. This is taking control of a situation. This is universally driven. This is having awareness, radical acceptance, and taking ownership. Okay, so they're going to have to do this if they want to get out of this situation, right? And move forward. Have some sort of victory. Having direction, having structure and discipline to do so. Knowing where they want to go with this, right? Star in reverse. Or it could be just travel, moving. You could be moving. Star in reverse. Why is this here, please, for the collective? So somebody's in a really dark place here. They don't know what to do. They're sitting on the fence. Two of swords in the upright. Um, mentally conflicted, okay? Maybe they don't, they don't know what they want. <laughs> or they don't know what to do, right? They might be sitting in their emotions right now. But it could also be ghosting and or blocking something. They don't know what to do unable to come up with a decision because uh, somebody's going to get hurt or they they're going to get hurt this is heartbreaking it's three of swords in the upright third party situation quite possible mm. 
This is regrets. I mean, could be, take it as it applies. It could be the third time this person's done it. You know, third time's the charm, you know? Or it could just be a third party. Yeah, something's not working. They didn't put the effort in. They didn't even try, possibly. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Thought something was going to work out in their favor. They'd get away with it. It's not working out. Three swords in the upright. Or maybe the, the person they wound up with, that they cheated with, it's not working out. And now they're kicking themselves in the ass because they, they lost something beautiful, possibly. They went through all that for nothing. Yeah, somebody maybe their third party's giving their cup away to somebody else, or their cup of love. They thought this person was altruistic, you know, like um, heartfelt. This is a heartfelt offer. This is love. This is um, support. But it's, it, it's a knight. It's a knight. It's not a king. It's not an emperor. It's not a queen. It's It's not an empress. So this person probably likes to play around that they wound up with. They were hiding it, or maybe they were playing around and they were hiding it, and they're going to hurt their spouse. I don't know if this is infidelity, the hermit. But there's discovery here with this hermit going in, uh, consulting with your higher wisdom. This hermit usually holds a lamp over a snake. It's not in this, this card, but a lot of the decks, you'll find a snake below this lamp. So somebody knows somebody's a snake. They've, they've consulted with their higher wisdom. They've gone in and done some soul, uh, soul work. Or maybe somebody was in the dark and they didn't know, right? But now they know. Seven of Cups in reverse. All that glitters isn't gold. So I, I'm thinking it's the one they wound up with that they cheated with. It was all illusion. Seven of Cups in reverse. They got entranced by all the bling, right? <laughs> all the choices out there in the world. Now they're running out of options. Oh, yes. Yeah, this was just a, I mean, if it broke up a relationship prior to this, it, it was all for naught, right? A hermit in the upright. They wound up hurting themselves, so take it as it applies. It doesn't have to be. It could be a third party just as a third person coming in, you know, a family member, a friend. It could be even addictions coming in in between a relationship, but yeah. Moving on. Secretly moving on, maybe. Because the hermit's there. Oops, let me... So sorry, I apologize. This is spirit coming in and protecting you. Moving on. Getting out of hot water. Getting out of this rough water, going into calm waters in order to heal. This is mental heal healing because it's the six of swords. It's a mental... Swords are mental, right? Could be traveling, could be moving over a large body of water, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you, this person wants to meet you in calm waters, right? The, the moving house, maybe. Um, this is stability. Four of Wands in the upright. Trying to get away, secretly trying to get away with something. There's an offer coming in because they secretly want to get away with something. They're looking at stability. Maybe they're they're homeless. Maybe they're, they're looking for a place to stay. They're looking for stability. Maybe this is a, a get-together because this is also celebrations, right? Um, they're seeing that you're stable. Maybe that's why they want to come towards you now and bring you um, a, an offer of love or support. I don't know where this goes they don't know what to do they're heartbroken they're maybe you're getting offers from others <laughs> and they're they're doing some soul work they want to come meet. they see that you've taken that you've moved possibly you've moved on and you're stable and secure so yeah maybe they're really regretting what they've done six of swords in the upright four of wands in the upright why is this here yeah you're stable here um they want to come towards you maybe there's secrets here. They're not happy. Secretly, they're not happy. They could... Maybe it's giving the impression that the one they moved on with is... I don't see the Eight of Cups in the upright, but maybe they're secretly wanting to move on to a state, more stable situation. But um, this is the high priestess, male or female. It doesn't matter. Somebody that's all-knowing. They're, they're, they're quiet. They observe. They don't do any... Uh, talking, much talking, but they have an understanding, they have a direct connection with Source here, and they're not happy about it. Maybe your intuition's on par here. So if they know they come towards you, they have to be stable, they have to get, yeah. 
Or maybe they know they know you're going to a get together and they want to secretly meet you there. They're gonna make it look like it's a oh it's an accidental setup and you're not aware of it, right? It's just uh I want they're secretly trying to plan to to meet you somewhere. <laughs> High priestess in the upright. This could be a new love. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. This is exposure. Their secrets are being exposed. What the heck is going on here? More secrets and lies and illusions here. They're scared. They're scared. What the hell is going on? The moon in the upright. The ten of cups is a breakup of a family, a group setting, friends and or relationship. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness here. Somebody got scapegoated. Try to scapegoat a Queen of Pentacles in the upright who's stable and secure. Or maybe it's just a wife card again. Just mean wife. But this is somebody that's stable and secure. Uh, everything they touch turns to gold. They know their value and worth. So that's the pentacle there. They're not going to let it go. Give it away to anybody, right? They earn that crown righteously. That throne righteously. They work hard. They're a hard worker. They're independent. They don't like uh, codependency. Okay, they don't need anybody. They're loving, uh, they're nurturing, they're healing. They have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They're not happy about this, okay? That's who you've proven to be. Yeah, they were playing mind games with you, five of wands in reverse, okay? But you chose not to engage and you walked away. You picked your battles very wisely. And now there's competition coming in for you, possibly. And they don't like it. Queen of Pentacles in the upright. They don't like it. No, they don't. Fall from grace, not a custom reverse. They could have been smug and full of themselves and selfish, right? Could it could be addictions, right? Being the life of the party, making up lies, right? But you overcame this nine nine. If that re relates or resonates with you, this could have something to do with you. This is the third time I've brought out the nine nine today, by the way. Yeah, you overcame, you persevered. You do not trust this person. Look at the side eye here. I don't trust you. Get away. This is up to nine people who hurt hurt you e emotionally. This is emotional wounding. Or they've hurt you not, you know, uh, up to or more nine times. They've harmed you, right? Yeah, they're immature and insincere, right? They're having an emotional outburst, possibly. They 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 use various means. They use emotional manipulation, emotional blackmail, um, flattery, money, coercion, even threats to get their way. They're not a nice person. You don't trust this person. Nine of Cups in reverse. They could have lost their position, too, the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is no satisfaction here. No personal achievement. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Nine of Wands. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of mind games. No, you're not engaging. Screw you. Good for you. Yeah, there. Are, there's no balance here, okay? No compromising. You know what you're dealing with here. Somebody went all out, okay? They're unbalanced. They're unstable. Uh, there, again, could be addictions here, drinking and or drugs. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, they went to extremes and it was inappropriate, whatever they've done. Inappropriate behavior, lack of uh, acceptance. Them and their friends didn't accept you. Oh, well, you know, there's going to be a, lots of people out there that do. Um, lack of awareness, lack of accountability. There was no harmony, no compromise, no balance, no peace, no contentment in this situation. Yeah. They were possibly, yes, they were gold diggers, clout chasers, right? Because you're sitting on top of the wheel here. This is destined. This was destined to happen for your betterment, possibly to get you to where you need to go in, with a new love, a new life, right? They lied, cheated, and or stole. Seven of Swords would be first. And yeah, you parted ways, right? Uh, this could be egregious gossip as well, okay, and slander. They, you parted ways. They're not happy. They're not happy. They were non-committal. This could be a divorce. This could be a um, a separation of some sort. Hierophant reverse. Three cups reverse. Hierophant reverse. You're the one that got away, by the way. And they're they're not happy about it. Uh, they got some poor advice. I think didn't listen to advice. Could even be some sort of crime. Yeah, they're defeated here. Seven swords. Uh, seven of wands in reverse. They have no um, defense for what they've done. They're overwhelmed, possibly. They, they left themselves wide open for attack now. Yeah. Or maybe that's what they did to you, right? They didn't defend you. They didn't stand up for you. Yeah, it's got, it went nowhere. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They were unfaithful. They were dishonest. Irresponsible. 
they don't want to take responsibility. Well, oh well, something's come to a complete end. It's not going anywhere. They don't have anything solid to offer another person. They don't have a firm foundation of broken promises. They never fulfill their promises. Okay, you can't rely on this energy. So, yeah, bye. Parting ways, two of cups in reverse. There's trust issues. You don't see eye to eye. You don't get along. You're not on the same page, right? Now they're out of money. They don't know what to do. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is a big financial loss for them, right? Don't know what to do. Seven of Cups in the upright. They they got entranced by all the bling, by all these offers, right? Uh, options. Not realizing that not, not one of them are viable. You know, it was all temptation. But they're not ready to let go of this lifestyle, maybe. Three of Wands, they haven't changed. There's no future here. Let go. You're no longer waiting for this. They wanted you to wait around for them. No. No, no, no. Not a swords in the upright. This is fast communication and or action. This could be anger. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know they're not going to let go. So, yeah. Unrequited love. Six of Cups in reverse. Uh, regrets. This could be trauma of some sort. You're not going back. You don't need this. Yeah. This is emotional wounding. They're stuck. They, they're angry because they know. They, they know what they've done. And they're stuck now. You leaving quickly, okay, has left them stuck. You know the truth. Ace of Swords. This is victory, by the way. This is the truth of breakthrough. This is a new beginning for you, okay? This is... All, all aces are uh, in the upright are a gift from the divine. This is a new beginning for you. Maybe they're angry over that. Oh, well. Right? They went for the most... Uh, Queen of Wands reverse. They're angry. They're pissed. Everybody knows the truth, maybe. The truth is, they wound up with something that was promiscuous. <laughs> Loss of power. It could have been forced. Forcing the truth out. I don't know. It's forceful energy here. But also promiscuous. Yeah, in and out of relationships. Okay. This is player card. They wound up with a player. Found out online. They're being watched. Page of Swords in the Upright. Yeah, now there's enlightenment here. Or maybe this is you. You found out online. You're enlightened. You're no longer struggling with this. You cut them out, okay? You let go. Yeah, you're healing here. Ten of Swords in Reverse. This is recouping, re re recovering, you know? Yeah, you know your value and strength and your worth. So you're seizing this opportunity to let go. Let go and let God. So we're going to leave that there because it's going on and on. It's 27 minutes. So, yeah, you've been, unfortunately, with somebody that wasn't altruistic, right? But you're, you've, you're healing. This is guidance from, this, uh, from source, right? From the divine. Sisters of season. Cycles of growth. Natural law. Divine order. So, you know, you play with people. You f fool around and find out. Spirit will take care of it eventually, and this is their turn. This is their turn to get have to answer to, to for their karma, right? Dragonfly, be lighthearted. Finding out what I just say, things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So yeah, things are changing. You're adapting. You're healing. Okay, uh, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. So you're going to be meeting somebody new if you haven't already. All right, this is beautiful. Let me get one of these to close out the read. Sorry, guys. I should have had this. Close by. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. How are we going to bring this to an end for the collective space for Wednesday, May 11th, 2022? So somebody had their heart broken, but they're healing now. Okay? You don't need that. Okay? You need, uh, you need, what you deserve is a beautiful love. One you can trust and you'll never, you know, yeah, there's going to be highs and lows, but not somebody like this. Okay? No, that's flipped over twice. Spirit guides, I'm sorry. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. I would like to end this. Thank you, Spirit. We have come to the edge in reverse, 36. So it's a nine in reverse. It's a hermit in reverse. The truth's come out. The truth has come out. You're coming in. You're coming out of the dark as well. And it could also mean going back out there in society and dating. That could also mean that too. So since it's in the reverse, I'm only going to read the protection uh, message for you. So maybe you're, you're, you're finally getting out there again. <laughs> Okay, so fear is leading the way into places you don't need to go. Most of what you fear at the moment is an illusion stemming from an old belief that isn't even true. 
Now is the time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left alone and unloved. Oh, the drama of it all. False evidence appearing real, which is fear, F-E-A-R, right? is hovering over you. The more you dwell on fear, the more real it will become. Ask yourself, who in me is afraid? Love that part of you. Ask, is this true and real right now? The answer most likely is no. Give yourself a hug. It's okay to be scared. Courage must be summoned. In spite of your fear, even when you're not feeling confident, spirit will always catch you. So maybe you're afraid to get back out there. Spirit's telling you that is just your thoughts and fears because of what happened in the past. Okay, don't let that the past give have power over you any longer. This person that's harmed you, hurt you, used you, whatever. Do not give them the power anymore. Take your power back. Get out there in the dating world. You might not find right away the person that's there for you, but at least you're out there. Know your value and your worth. Don't fa don't fall into a relationship right away. Take your time. Get to know the person. I hope you liked the read. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.